The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Look at the pure determination on his face. It's determination and confidence, Cole, because Gunther knows exactly how good he is. Gunther knows he is on another level. It seems like Gunther is rarely in a good mood. I mean, does it hurt to smile? That's not necessarily true. Gunther smiles on the inside when he fillets an opponent's chest with his chops. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. Now, here's someone whose only interest is beating people into oblivion. And don't expect to see any mercy or remorse because Mark Coffey has zero. And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 238 pounds, Mark Coffey! Mark Coffey knows how to hold it down. An NXT UK Heritage Cup winner. An NXT and NXT UK Tag Team Champion. Mark drops whoever comes his way. And just think of the trail of decimated bodies Mark spread across the world in the name of Gallus. Mark Coffey is a vicious brawler who is not intimidated by any opponent or type of match. Mark Coffey is all about mauling you on his way to the top of the mountain, and I'm here for it. And Guther is a true throwback, guys. He reminds me of the great old-school champions who revolutionized this sport in the last century. If by that you mean he'll beat the crap out of you and not bat an eyelash, then sure. Gunther is a double-tough and absolutely ruthless competitor in the ring. If you don't respect him, you will fear him, and either works for him. Yep, that about sums it up. Mark Coffey is just as focused, though. He's ready to turn this into a brawl, into an all-out war. Coffee's never met a fight he didn't want to be part of. As tough as they come and not one to back down from a challenge, you have to be ready for an all-out assault when you face him in the ring. Ooh, man. Mark didn't see that coming. Chest. Mark Coffey getting rocked with that bit of offense. Oh, with authority. Up top. Setting up for what now? Something big, something spectacular. Here comes a Hail Mary to end this thing. From the top. The avalanche oh. by Silplax. The extra cover. Shoulders are down. Kicked out, able to squeeze that shoulder out so close. Ooh! With Gunther's militant stature and no nonsense ring style, how can anyone usurp the ring general, Corey? You certainly don't want to go blow for blow against Gunther. That will lead to your pectoral muscles being turned into ground beef. Treat Gunther like any other perfectionist. Throw a wrench into their plans. If you can upset the general's rhythm and plan in the ring, his frustration will only grow. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. He gets back into the ring. Gunther fears no man. He's taking this to the floor now. Forearm after forearm, vicious. 
vicious attack. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Dominating shoulder tackle. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. He's burying elbows in the midsection. And oh, what a lariat. He can't take any more of this. This is a very dangerous situation now. Hoist it up. Emerald four. Is it enough? Shoulder up before three. Man, oh man, what resilience. He's got to be running on instinct alone. It is just unbelievable. And Guther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Mark with the wherewithal to avoid that. Down into a choke slam. Mark Coffey using brute strength to great effect. Nothing pretty, just effective, hard hitting offense. So much for ending a match before it starts. Guther got the fight taken to him there. Yeah. He thinks he has it. He's able to beat a two count. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating. Man, just a big right hand dropped him to the point where he had to roll out of the ring. This superstar, uh, well, maybe he doesn't doesn't want more. Can you blame him? Things have not gotten his enough. way. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> you are going nowhere, my friend. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Back, Back into, into the, the ring. ring you go. And this superstar's fate outside the ring was worse than in the ring. Running away from their fate seems to have only made the situation worse. Range down an elbow or a tap. Muscles up their opponent. Oh. Emerald Flosion. Gunther might just have it. Two. And Gunther takes it. this match with a chip on their shoulder with something to prove and they just delivered congratulations well they might have won this match with the goal of getting respect in mind but i just hope they didn't poke the bear come on Corey, it's a celebration
There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo of Fire and Dawn. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Fire and Dawn, not a team you want to cross. Have no problem cursing the competition like actually casting curses. Yeah, you know, Cole, I heard Saxton actually had a full head of hair before he met Alba and Isla. Hey, I still do. A lot of it. The Unholy Union, as dangerous as they are disturbing. Fire and Don ready to conjure up a win. An absolutely cutthroat competitor. Here comes Dakota Kai. Looking ready to assert her control. And their opponents first, representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. A world-traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining damage control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude, but besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Well, now she has even more help in the form of damage control. A competitor who never backs down from a fight. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. The man has shown where there's smoke, there's fire. And she has taken it as her mission to reinvigorate the level of competition in every women's division. Becky Lynch has made it clear for anyone who's big game hunting that the man's not hard to find. She's inviting the competition to take their best shot. The man is the personification of guts and passion. Becky's built an amazing career by seizing the opportunity. Oh, the man will make you famous. The smartest thing to do is keep her name out of your mouth altogether. Unfortunately for the opposition tonight, it's far too late for that. When we see the dark duo of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, we're looking at a team who's hungry and on the hunt for victims. When you call yourselves the Unholy Union, you're not exactly mentoring rookies. This team's not just dangerous. These women possess a power that has the capability to level the entire women's division. Fire and Dawn threaten to unleash scorched earth. And if they have their way, it can very well happen tonight. Each team looking to make an impact, looking to shake up the landscape of the tag team division. Well, I'll take it one step further, Saxton. These teams have a goal of dominating the division. Into the corner now. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. They're gonna send their opponent into the other turnbuckle. Oh, reverse his course. Crushing clothesline. And watch your neck. Tag switching it up. <laughs> Torturous focus on the leg. Punishing the leg. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Roadhouse kick, man. Fighting back with a counter. Tag made here. 
Oh, this is going to be bad. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. She's pushed into the corner. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. And Alba got bottled up there. Impressive reversal there. with the suplex. Rolling neck snap. Brutal. Oh, man, let it hair. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. She's feeling the hurt here. Yeah, as Becky's trademark brashness continues to serve her well in this one. Stomping down! Tagging her partner in. Pretty drop kick. Her shoulders are down. She breaks the count quick. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. From the top. Big mistake there, Corey. Well, she knows that now. Placed into the corner. Oh, jaw shattering. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh, you power bomb. That might be it. That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. Tag is made, and here we go. Fry quick to counter. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. some damage. Lynch looking confident as ever delivering that attack. Ooh, stop to the back. Ouch. Double stop. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Setting up for something here. Oh my goodness. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Come on. No one likes a count out. Don messing with him, clearly trying to force an error. She was a millisecond away from a count out, guys. Ooh, here's a cover. Could be it. Fights the shoulder up in one. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Oh, right to the body. Oh, my God. Face first right into the buckle. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. Uh, teammate makes the save. And just in time. The fight Lynch off. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. 
in off the tag. Oh, this, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Come on! Into the cover! She breaks the ref's count. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. She's fighting back. Foot to the midsection. She gets it. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. Punching their way out of that one. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. And a kick. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Save. That should have been three. Carefully placed stump to the arm. She's in pretty bad shape now. Yeah, she's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. Hammerlock applied by Becky Lynch into the reverse DDT. Time to go for a ride. Explorer. She gets the tag. Fry quick to counter. Alba fire with the going ball. Cover. Two count. Shoulder up, shoulder up. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Monster set up in the corner. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. A striking blow. Right on target with a stop to the gut. So ruthless. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Athleticism. Sidekick on the mark. Oh my gosh! Blow after blow, hit after hit. Somehow these women just keep going. Their drive, their will to keep fighting can't be extinguished. And driving them down. And look at Lynch going to the top rope. To the sky. Diving leg drop from the top rope. For the win. Two. Finally out. Ah, celebration underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. Always a great... Well, well we got another superstar. So. I guess adding to the celebration, appreciation. I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right.
Here come the Creeds, a duo who can win on any level. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 515 pounds, Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers! The Creeds, athletes who are bound by blood and united by pride. These two just command respect. When they execute a plan, the opposition has nowhere to go but down. It's truly a foolish endeavor to try to match the Creed's move for move. Let's see if the opposition can figure out a different strategy. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahan and Saga Indus Shear. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. In the intimidating presence of Indus Sheer looming large in the ring here tonight. They've been a terror for the tag team division for a while now, and they're only getting more dominant with time. They're dead set on sending a message to all the tag teams in WWE. Nothing can stand in their way. And they already look primed to continue that message here. And when it comes to the Creeds, you almost take their incredible power for granted because you expect it to be there but their impressive speed and agility have a major impact on their offense and their defense. Straight up, competitors who are as big and powerful as Julius and Brutus are not supposed to move like that. I mean, they can really do it all. Looking wobbly in the corner. Stomping away, and then the knee right into the throat. Oh, Just ruthless. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. And Creed gets warded off. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Spectacular counter. He could pin his opponent right here. Had it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sanga didn't look ready for his opposition there. Alley -oop. makes the cover.
Pinpointing the leg. Ooh, goes without saying, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. Double on. Uh-oh. Oh, I had that well scouted. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Dishing out a suplex. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Sent into the corner. Fez press raining down right hands. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Jarring impact. Oh, wait a second. Fending off. Roll up. Fending off a two count there. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Enough already. Knee driven right through the face and again. Still left him again. Yikes. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. And Julius gets met with a response. Ripped in the hard way. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? And the rope forces the break. Great effort though. So much torque on the knee and ankle. And this is just outrageous power into a German. He's been placed in the corner now. There's another. Ooh. And it's a long way down from there. Ooh. to overcome. Yeah, Beard just showed a ton of fire on that one. Oh, hold on a second. What, what is happening? Blatant disregard for their opponent. He switches it back around. A single leg and a backdrop to follow. Mahan with the reversal. Tossed into the corner. Boom! What a right gosh. Tagged in. Oh man, he has fired up now. And you can just feel the contempt, the venom these superstars have for each other. It's been fueling them for weeks. For the pin! He breaks the ref's count before two. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Boom! Tagging his partner in now. Got the tag. Got the tag. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Gets tagged in. Oh, a numbing blow to the chest. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And he sends him into the corner. 
Hoisting their opponent up. Look out. Snake eyes. Oh, overhand chop. Reaches his partner for the tag. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Close line in the corner. Oh. There's a tag. Raw power. He's looking a little weary now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Cover! Two! Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Oh, punch to the gut. I'll take the win right out of you. He was elusive there. Here's the Gorilla Press. Insane. What power. Up and down. Not done yet. Into a moonsault. What a combo. Placing them right where they want them. Into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Hoisting their opponent up. Look out. Sneak eyes. What a headbutt. Vicious. Sanga is looking to close this one out. Here it comes. Uh-oh. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Planning on what to do next. Planning face first. He's tagging out. Julius Creed letting him know he's ready for anything he's got. He made it. Tag made. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Strong takedown there. Shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. This team with some more tandem offense in mind now. Opponent hoisted on the shoulders. Doomsday cannonball. Brutus Creed just ended this. Pin, save! Uh -oh. Still got more fight here. These men have shown no indication of staying down. Their guts, their fire won't allow them to give up. Dominating shoulder tackle. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Slam. Strong overhand chops. Oh, just lighting up the chest of their opponent. Vicious right forearm. He may be in a bad way here. These two teams. Tag made. Tandem offense on the horizon here. Set up for a sidewalk slam. Connecting with the elbow drop. Terrible position for Creed. He keeps his team in the match. Great counter. Caught with that forearm. Caught in a bad position here. Lands face first. And you 
Julius is bleeding now, guys. Oh, I stopped right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Into the corner. This can't be good. Reversal on Sanga. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. And there's Creed catching the second wind. There's some real danger staring Sanga in the face here. Across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Vicious, downright savage club right there. He's in off the tag. Oh, 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 what a boot. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. He's going for the pin. This could be it. An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here are your winners. Beer Mahan and Sanga. And this Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. The raiding party has arrived. Here.
comes destruction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Valhalla at a combined weight of 552 pounds. The NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. The Viking Raiders approach the ring every night as if it's a battlefield, and they fight accordingly. Yeah, holding back is apparently not in the Viking playbook. But intimidation certainly is. These warriors are a scary sight. The most extravagant, flamboyant, eccentric, and gorgeous team in WWE history. And their opponents at a combined weight of 357 pounds, the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Here's a team who are completely in sync with each other. The epitome of teamwork. Now, they're also in sync when it comes to annoying their opponents as well. Yes, boy! Stop saying that. Come on, Byron. Give me one. Yes, I boy! No, I'm not saying it, Corey. Do it. Do it. Proof that looks can be deceiving. Oh, come on, Cole. Don't judge a book by its gorgeous cover. You try, Cole. Yes, boy. Come on, Cole. Please. Don't say it, Michael. Don't say it. Classy, posh, debonair, I could go on. Show some respect for pretty deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, two young men from across the pond who consider themselves a class above the rest of their peers. Honestly, they're both imbeciles most of the time, but even I can't deny how talented they are in the ring when they're not making fools of themselves, that is. Turning fire. Ooh, jarring European uppercut. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, ouch. Down on the windpipe. Uppercut. Man. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. So much damage inflicted. Oh, saw it coming. Mistake made by Ivar. Great reaction from Ivar. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being... Muscling his way out of the submission. Getting the 
shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Placing them into the corner. That'll turn your lights out. And Viking Raiders just got some of that berserker turned against them there. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Yes, tag! Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad! Come on, this isn't right. Ouch! Great hip toss. I have no way to explain the power we just witnessed. Forget about any size difference. Uh-oh. Right to the knee. Oh, hammer it away! Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full. Oh, look out! Lands the splash. Is it enough? The cover. Oh no! Trapping the arm. Vicious stomps to the hand. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. In full control here. Face first. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Ball line pack. Ooh, what an elbow. The barrage of elbows over and over again. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Targeting the throat. To Does he have it here? Stop short of two. We are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Tagged with a punch. I'm on with a spin kick of doom. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Didn't look like Elton had a solution for that. Crushing the knee there. Clean tag for his partner. Finds the room to land a back elbow. First a knife edge chop and now continuing the attack on the knee. Oh. Straight to the knee. Left by the turnbuckles. Knife edge chop. Uh-oh. He turns it around. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Countered it just in time. Monkey flip! Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. That unravels on Elton. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. And Eric with the counter. He was waiting for him to make his move. Oof. And one to the skull for good measure. Powerless position to be in right now. Watch face first. From behind, back suplex. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? He got whipped into that corner. Uh-oh. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh! Boom! Oof, stiff punch. Counter! And now there's an opening! Rear uh, real being uppercut. And tag! He's in now! 
divinely. Boom, what an uppercut. That's one of my all-time favorites, the octopus strip. Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. He skirts away, living to fight enough. Watch out. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Face, meat floor. I think I see a few teeth on the floor. What a hot shot. It's all the way to the outside. to the face. Getting set up for something in the corner. Knees to the gut repeatedly. Oh, that's just an agitating thing to do. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Heels a bit now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Kick thinking here. Oh, earth shaking spine buster. Incredible. Makes the cover. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here are your winners Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Pretty deadly. And the celebration has already begun for Pretty Deadly. Well, like all good Vikings, Eric and Ivar went down swinging, but this result has to sting. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. To the ring at a combined weight of 400. 
140 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser and Pania. Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. And their opponents, accompanied by Butch, at a combined weight of 520 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, and Ridge Holland! The Brawling Brutes! That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger! The Brawling Brutes ready and raring to go in this one. You just won't find a more physical, more smash mouth team and double. Into the pin attempt. Whoa. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He's still in this. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Whoa. Nice gut wrench suplex. able to counter. Set up in the corner of the ring. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Whoa! Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Uh-oh. And finds a counter. Fireman's carry position across the shoulders. Rolling through. And Vinci is keeping the match at his pace. Ridge needs to figure things out. And Vinci gets that set right back to him. He fends off the attack. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Quick sidestep by Vinci. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. And Holland found himself on the wrong end of the beating. Yeah, Giovanni delivering the pain. Tag is registered. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Can perform with such ease. 
Sheamus gets tagged in. Oh, what an uppercut. So impactful. Oh, just gouging the face. A ripping and tearing at the face. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Being carried around with ease. Check your face after that one. This is just establishing dominance, followed by a stomp. He's been placed in the corner now. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. That's incredible. He's looking a little off balance. Here it comes. Nicely done. Look at the airplane spin off a front face lock. How do you find your balance after that? I don't know if they even know where they are right now. Up is down and right is left about now, Saxton. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable Whoa. athleticism. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Big clothesline. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Oh, watch this display of power. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Toss back into the ring. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Rich Holland. Down with Northern Grit. Big opening for Hall to take this. Two count. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. No telling how much surviving that will cost, though. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. That was the best weapon in the arsenal. But it wasn't enough to produce an end result. And there was some force on that move. didn't find a counter for that. That's incredible. No doubt Ludwig is having trouble here. Ridge continues to maintain the advantage. Into a power bomb. And he cuts bait, slipping out of the ring. Shut up, Saxton. This is just a small regrouping. Single leg drop kick caught him. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Driving a knee into the arm. Placed in the corner. That'll stop you in your tracks. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. Ooh, and a reversal. Kicking out next time. He's got the answer for that one. Got him 
set up in the corner of the ring. Tag is good. Foot to the gut. Uh-oh. An agile escape. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Wrist lock applied. Oh, man, look at this power. What are they doing here? a very clear message. And set right into the corner. Boom. These men are looking battered and bruised. You have to believe the end is near. Bruised but not broken. This one is going as long as there's breath in their lungs. He avoids the damage. Look at the skill slam and from behind. to the wind. Spitting in the oh. face of danger. Pump handle. Olympic slam. Sheamus staggers up, struggling to regain any composure. Up top. Death Valley driver by Vinci. Sheamus is in crisis mode. Big risk here. He may he might be oblivious to the count, guys. one is over. The winner looks a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there.
Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. Gargano and Ciampa back together again. It's so great seeing DIY reuniting and getting things done. And they look focused on getting back on top. Hold on tight, everybody. It's time for some big Duke energy. Duke Hudson earned some major success in NXT and wants to expand his horizons. And representing Chase University from Adelaide, Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds, Duke Hudson. Duke has made Chase U the accredited, prestigious institution it is today. You have to respect Duke's journey. He experienced a new level of success when he started taking his studies seriously. Well, Duke has all the pieces needed to become a breakout star. Now he needs to put them all together. Duke's got his lesson plan in hand and is ready to start handing out grades. Look, I'm the first to say an education's important, but Hudson needs to focus on taking care of business and less about running for class president. Gentlemen, sharpen your pencils. Andre Chase is bringing a wrestling and test. Representing Chase University from Draper, North Carolina, weighing in at 216 pounds, Andre Chase! We are about to see the ultimate in-ring IQ from the headmaster of Chase U. Well, he's got a classroom of students watching this match. Now it's time to see if his teachings are worth the tuition. Like it or not, Andre Chase is a quick thinker when the pressure is on. Well, the pressure is on tonight. A group to be feared. The Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. And at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far.
Tag Team Tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match. Despicable. That was simply a despicable display we just saw. Knee lift! Time to see what you're made of. Gun check. Super kick! Vicious right forearm. like that if you want to win. Turns back Champa's attack. Cover, cover. And meanwhile, Finn Balor. Oh, oh man. Dangerous constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting a win. Placing them right where they want.
Takedown. Oh, helicopter's been oh, I hope this is it. None come back to Hunter in the future. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. There's the sling blade. Basement drop kick. Oh, what a shot. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to climb with. Kick to the gut. Double under a pump.
Alert the authorities. Dom Dom and Mommy have arrived. Oh, jeez, not this again. Cole, pay your respect to the modern-day Bonnie and Clyde. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women's So, some have called Rhea Ripley the leader of the Judgment Day. So, I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet. And they're already so smug. You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like Mommy. These two deserve each other. You're right, Cole. Greatness attracts greatness. All rise for the Judgment Day. Here comes danger in a small package. Focused, determined, and dangerous. Yeah, and just looking for her moment to strike and shine in this division. And from Chongqing, China, Zaya Lee! Well, Zaya has an impressive martial arts background. Isaiah is certainly well versed in the art of combat. The protector has arrived. Zaya Lee brings such a dramatic intensity to the ring. With her extensive martial arts training and razor-sharp focus inside the ring, Zia Lee is a threat to any superstar. She has an exceptional work ethic and is constantly looking to sharpen her abilities, hone her craft, and become even more dangerous. The intensity of Zia Lee can be pretty intimidating. You see that intensity on the face of Zia now. She means business. Standing across from her is a force for which there is no escape. The Eradicator is here to wreak unadulterated brutality. Behold, Rhea Bloody Ripley. Rhea Ripley's evolution in WWE is like nothing we've ever seen. The power, the speed, and the thirst to make others suffer at her hands has put a black cloud over the women's division. Brilliant countering by both competitors. A oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. As of late, we've seen Rhea Ripley head down a sinister path. It has to be quite challenging going into a match with someone as menacing as Ripley. Ripley's dark side seems to cloud her judgment at times, Cole. She's become riskier with her attacks and pushing the rules of the ring. If her opponent can frustrate her and force Ripley to resort to risky behavior, her opponent can cash in on any mistakes. Oh, 
escapes in a nick of time. To the outside. This could get wild. Great response to Ripley there. Oh, Ripley put a stop to that. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. She's taking some big hits here. Arm drag, nicely done. With the counter. Oh, oh right suplex. Referee's count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? You can't be acting like this. Zaya gets out of the way. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Boom, what a kick. The crowd is singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor, too. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth freaking Rollins! Rollins is an architect, a visionary, and a revolutionary who adapts to challenges like a chameleon. Seth Rollins will do whatever it takes, find any strategy to further his greatness. living in the almighty era. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. We've 
We've seen it so many times. When that bell rings, Bobby Lashley flips a switch. And on display, we witness his frightening intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating. The one thing you have to do is prevent Rollins from that ruthless assault. You're right, but it's much easier said than done when you consider the multifaceted offensive attack of Seth freaking Rollins. The almighty Bobby Lashley is going to get things going here. Bobby's physical presence usually helps him gain the advantage before his opponent even realizes what's happening. The man is chiseled from Mount Olympus, Cole. The almighty views every opponent the same way. Just another obstacle in his path. And when you're built like Lashley, they're more like speed bumps than barriers. No doubt, Corey, that Bobby Lashley is an absolute physical specimen. And he'll be facing off against the uh, visionary... Seth Rollins. No, oh, put some passion behind it, Saxton. He is the visionary. He is the revolutionary. Seth freaking Rollins. Ugh. And Lashley saw it was coming. Big time power slam. Love him or hate him, Seth freaking Rollins is arguably one of the best in-ring competitors in all WWE today. Considering his skill level and the many... Oh, oh, it's down. It cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Looking for a scoop slam. No, slips behind. Inverted DDT. Look at these kicks! That'll stun you. And Lashley wasn't wrecking anything in that moment. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. Hits him with the counter. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Nicely done. Elbow drop. Piercing. Able to avoid it. Oh, and Rollins! Here comes Seth! Slip lane! Rollins, it, this could be a cover. He narrowly avoids the count. The end was in sight. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Just deadlifting their opponent, tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you... perfect time to attack when his guard is down. He's absorbing some tight hits now. Seth with an absolutely predatory attack there. Cover! Two! Forces the shoulder up after two. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, right across the throat. Gets clobbered with the axe handle. Oh, Seth gets caught with a counter. Manages to fight out with a series of punches. Snatched up here. Gets slammed down. Look out. Get it to the of the neck. And now the Almighty is all the bloody. Cover. Raise the roof. He's got the victory. Here is your winner. Seth Rollins. And down goes.
Here's the Almighty. When you're Seth freaking Rollins, you expect a certain amount of success like this. All in a day's work for the visionary. Here comes Angel and Umberto. Fighting for their family name, and the ladies love it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Angel Garza, representing Los Lotharios from Monterrey, Mexico. Weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto! I have to say, Los Lotharios have always been a threat but they've brought a new level of aggression as of late. I agree, Corey, though I think they could probably cut down on the ringside flirting. That's like asking the sun not to shine, Saxton. Los Lotharios are hoping for a quick win here so they can hurry back to all their adoring fans. Uh, don't hold your breath, ladies. Time to get the good vibes flowing. We have very different ideas of good vibes, Saxton. His opponent, representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods! A uh, procession is in order. Corey, can you feel it? Unfortunately, I can't. It feels like a ridiculous parade could break out at any time. Come on, New Day rocks. Sit new. Day rocks. Stop, stop me. I'm down with the power. The positivity. Ah. The bell means it's official, and it's go time for Xavier Woods. Woods prides himself on being a big-time player who knows how to get the job done. I could use less of the trombone on a daily basis, but that doesn't mean I don't respect what Woods does in that ring and the dues he paid to get here. Woods lives and breathes this business, without a doubt. Which is why Woods is looking to further establish himself as a top-flight singles competitor here tonight. And then we have Umberto, a superstar who is as lucky in love as he is inside the ring. When he's not breaking hearts, he's breaking down opponents. There isn't a single person in the WWE Universe who doesn't wish they were living the good life like Umberto. Yeah, it seems like some things just come easy for Umberto. But part of that is his focus inside the ring. Once that bell rings, he stops messing around and gets down to serious business. Well, his version of serious business at least. This match, shoulders down. Only a one count before the kick out. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. And what's this manager looking for under the ring? He has no business down there. From your perspective, Corey, what's the X factor that Xavier Woods brings to this match that could help push him to victory? 
I'd have to go with Xavier's willingness to deliver a 200% effort in the ring. Woods doesn't have a single ounce of quit in him. He goes all out and fights for the win every time. If he shows that same level of commitment and resilience here tonight, victory could be. Oh my! Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and then the chest as well. Taking this to the floor. He's turning the tables. Kick to the gut. Not done yet. Hammerlock sits in, followed by a suplex. Ooh, man. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. And it's going to be hard for Woods to send a message if he gets outmatched like that. Humberto certainly put his best effort behind that move. Kick to the gut. One right hand, another, and another fighting out of it. This is starting to reach Kane and Abel levels of animosity, guys. Jeez, Cole, I hope it doesn't go that far. Yeah, I don't think I can stomach that. Gotta hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Thrown to the outside. Precarious position for the opposition. Perch on the ropes. Here we go. Inside DDT. Lights out. <laughs> oh, man, what a hurricane Rana. Working to neutralize that arm. Saw that one coming. DDT. He can end it here. What a match and win for Xavier Woods. Here is your winner, Xavier Woods! And Xavier Woods, very impressive, guys. Tonight, it just wasn't in the cards for Humberto. Humberto was bested. What it's all about now is how he bounces back.